Hey there friends, Nibs again. I uh, wanted to get out to the garage and do a little tinkering this morning. Um, you guys seen this one yesterday and uh, <clears throat> I've been searching around the house and uh, looking for something made out of leather that I would be willing to sacrifice. Um, and uh, I found a couple things. Uh, so I had a, an old Leatherman case that uh, the clasps were broken on it probably repair that one day but so I, that leather was actually too thick um, another thing I found where to go uh, I have a bunch of old uh, leather holsters this one the leather was actually too thin on that one <clears throat> um, I'd actually considered making something out I got some, some like hard sponge rubber here but uh, again like I said yesterday I really would much rather prefer to you know, make something that was a little more uh, original equipment for this one because it is such a cool old gun. <clears throat> and uh, the last thing I came up with, I had this old leather sl sling here that's in, in really pretty ratty shape, but uh, it had some pretty good looking leather uh, on, on the end here. <clears throat> and uh, so I did some measurements on the, uh, the opening there <clears throat> and uh, it had a 0 0.065 uh, inch uh, depth so you want it a little bit thicker than that actually um, and the leather will compress too so that's good and then the OD was around 0 0.410 and then the inside diameter of the hole was around 0 0.160. Measure those with my trusty old Mitutoyo, Mitutoyo uh, analog calipers. Really like uh, that old analog stuff. I don't even own a set of digital calipers, so. Um, but uh, I do have a set of. Man, the case is ripped, but. have a set of uh, Pittsburgh hollow punch sets. I, think, I believe I got this at Harbor Freight. I think that's where Pittsburgh tools come from, but um, various sizes and I measured a couple of them. And uh, so the, the three eighths of an inch was just right for the outside diameter. And then uh, five thirty seconds made a real nice center hole might be a little bit larger than the, the actual airport but um, it's not bad get that little piece of leather out of there so i do already have the, the good one installed into the gun i did use a little bit of uh i cleaned up the hole really good uh made sure it was nice and dry um, I always use a brake cleaner to remove on any oil, oily film or anything like that. Um, it was pretty grubby in that hole. Um, I did make one, I'll show you here. Um, the first one I made, the hole was a little off center, so I wasn't real happy with that one. So I made another one and wanted to show you this one. Uh, the hole was really well centered. so. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get this. So there you go. There's so you just close it down and it seals up really well now. So got a little bit of glue splatter around there. Let me Clean that up a little bit. Shoot a couple pellets. I know I've said this a million times on my videos, but uh, be very careful with this brake cleaner. It 
wheel attack finishes on wood, uh, plastic. Um, it will remove finishes off of wood very fast. So, I'm gonna clean out this little bit of glue that's spilling over here. really gonna be nice so I'll let that uh, let that adhesive dry 24 hours or, or so and then I'll just apply a little bit of oil on there keep that that leather oiled but uh, I think that's gonna be a really nice uh, repair on that. Um, again, the old Eisen work. Pre-1900 brake action air gun. <laughs> I do hope uh, at some point the uh, I do end up being able to purchase this guy. Yeah, really smacking with some power now. Uh, that really, that really made a, a huge difference. Even, even the ones that I, when I was holding it tight, so that the metals were sealing, I was not seeing that much power. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, now I just need to find a, a front sight post for it, and uh, I believe uh, we'll have a lot of fun with this one. So, all right. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you again soon. Have a great day.